Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm glad that you can join as we celebrate the Catholic Mass. This week we are celebrating the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. So let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. And now, my brothers and sisters, Sorry about that. Now we're ready. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. And now, my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 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 And glory to Amen. God in the highest. And on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in our hearts that are, in, that are just and true, Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. choose you can keep the commandments they will save you if you trust in god you too shall live he is set before you fire and water to whichever you choose stretch forth your hand before a man are life and death good and evil whichever he chooses shall be given him immense is the wisdom of the lord he is mighty in power and all seeing the eyes of god are on those who fear him he understands man's every deed no one does he command to act unjustly, to none does he give license to sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed, Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. You have commanded that your precepts be diligently kept. Oh, that I might be firm in the ways of keeping your statutes. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Be good to your servant that I may live, and keep your words. Open my eyes that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Instruct me, O Lord, in the way of your statutes, that I may exactly observe them. Give me discernment, that I may observe your law, and keep it with all my heart. Blessed, Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. 
Brothers and sisters, we speak a wisdom to those who are mature, not a wisdom of this age, nor the rulers of this age who are passing away. Rather, we speak with God's wisdom, mysterious, hidden, which God predetermined before the ages of our glory, and which none of the rulers of this age knew, for if they had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, what eye has not seen and ear has not heard, and what has not entered the human heart, what God has prepared for those who love him, this God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. According to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, You shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. You have heard it said, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, whoever looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Again, you have heard that it was said to your ancestors, do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you all that you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The other uh, day we had a, um, uh, a funeral and there, there wasn't a trip to the cemetery afterwards. So I just decided to kind of walk back and forth to, uh, to one of our churches. And then on the way back, it was a pretty nice day, and um, the, uh, the kids were out playing. And uh, we, have, we have two small uh, schoolyards, one for the big kids and one for the little kids. And um, uh, that way the little kids don't get trampled. And so I happened to walk past the little ones, and um, so I went in, and they were uh, they were playing nicely, and then they decided to make a train, and it looked a little bit like a conga line, you know, one shoulders on the other, and a long line, and they were going around, and a big line around the schoolyard, and then they said, "Father, join our train." So um, I said, "Okay." I said, "I'll be the caboose," and they were like, "What?" And uh, I said, I'll be the caboose. And I said, that's the end of the train. Oh, okay. You be the caboose. But I said, you have to go slow because I'm old. And they said, okay, we'll go slow. So they got themselves all organized. And then the one turned around and said, okay, old caboose, the train is moving. And... Um, I was a little taken back by how quickly they identified that, uh, yeah, that makes sense. He's an old caboose. And then they kept, as I was going around, they were saying, is the old caboose still with us? Yes, the old caboose is still there. Um, but I think they, 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 the kids are good at seeing things for as they are. And if it's an old caboose, an old caboose it is. And in our readings, Jesus also is good at this part of the Sermon of, Mount, of the Mount of telling us just how it is, just the way he sees it. And, and our Lord sees things differently than the people of old saw how it is that we are to be. 
You know, the last two weeks when we've been doing the Sermon on the Mount, we started with the Beatitudes two weeks ago. Last week we did, you know, the, you're the light of the world and the salt of the earth. And this week we get to that part of the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus kind of gets into the nitty gritty. This is the part where, where he says, I didn't come to abolish the law, but I came to fulfill it. And then he says, you have heard it said, but I say to you. He does that several times. And these, the uh, scripture people will say, these are called the great antitheses. You've heard one thing, but now I am giving you something more. And each one of these antitheses, you heard it say, but I say to you, Jesus actually takes the law and makes it more stringent, more difficult. Because if you think about it, the old law, the Ten Commandments, it was based on what you do. You know, do not kill, do not steal, honor your father and mother. These are the things that is what you do. But it doesn't say how you have to feel, what has to be in your heart, what you have to think. But when Jesus is saying, but I say to you, it's not just what we do, but it is what is in our heart. Is our heart centered on God? And, and if it is, then our actions are naturally going to flow from that and be pleasing to God. But if it isn't, and this is where he criticizes the scribes and Pharisees, if, if, if our heart is not in it, then it doesn't really matter what our actions are. But when Jesus tells us, and we'll hear this next week, as he goes through these, you have heard it said, but I say, these antitheses, in the end he'll say, to sum it up, be perfect just as your heavenly Father is perfect. Now, that is impossible, right? I mean, we cannot do that. We're, we're not capable of being perfect as, as God is perfect. And that's the point. That's what Jesus is getting at. It is not possible for you and I to be able to fulfill all of what he says to us. We have to recognize our dependence on him. We have to recognize our dependence on God. It's only if we have God's grace, the grace of Jesus Christ, the power of his spirit, filling our hearts that we can then have the grace to fulfill the law the way he would want us to do it. It turns out that if we go back to our, our kids with, the, with their train, we are not the engine of the train. We're just the car of the train. It is Jesus Christ himself who is the fulfillment of the law. He's the fulfillment in and of himself. And he's the one who gives us the grace and the power. And when we fail and we, we don't measure up, that's why we have the sacrament of reconciliation. So we can literally be refilled with God's grace to have the ability to do what he wants us to do. So we're not the engine. We're just a car in the train. You might even be the caboose. You might even be the old caboose. And if you are an old caboose, then listen to the words of our Lord Jesus, who says, come on, old caboose, the train is moving. And now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten of me, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, 
and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds with the Father and his Son, who with the Father and his Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life for the world to come. Amen. Amen. Before offering our gifts at this altar, let us unite our hearts in prayer for all the people of God. That our bishops, priests, deacons, and all who serve the church may be ministers of God's forgiveness and reconciliation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That nations, governments, and peoples of the world may realize the goodness of all God has made and work together for the just use of the earth's gifts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for students and young people that they may be inspired by God's holy wisdom to make responsible and mature decisions and choices as they face the challenges of this world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that God will welcome into the heavenly kingdom the souls of all who have died in God's peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. And finally, we pause to add our own prayers and intentions. And as you know, I add uh, the intentions you put in the, uh, in the uh, comments uh, to my own prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. To you, O God, nothing is hidden. From you, O Lord, no secrets are kept. Hear the prayers and hopes in our heart, which we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all creatures serve you, and all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol with you all the angels, as in joyful celebration 
we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 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 The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Now is the time for uh, Holy Communion at Mass, and for all those who are unable to uh, receive communion and unable to, to, to come to church, we make this prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, I come at least spirit come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that all who believe in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. And let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 And the Lord be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thanks so much for praying and joining with us. And um, we will see you again next week. And um, uh, hopefully by the time we're, we're next week, we'll be celebrating the Eagles uh, Super Bowl. <laughs>